Hey guys, this is John and I'm playing Dorosk in a 15 minute pool on ICC. Let's play E4 against Dorosk. And we have another Sicilian. Hmm. I think I'm going to play a C3 Sicilian this time. This is a line that I haven't yet tried on my channel. And he plays D5. Yeah, in the C3 Sicilian, there's um, arguably two only good responses. It's D5 and Knight F6. Although I have played B6 if you've watched my channel before. Let's go D4 now. So this line um, has theory that's pretty well worked out. And in my opinion, you can't really play this line for white unless you're willing to accept an isolated pawn in a lot of scenarios. So black can take on d4, and oftentimes uh, white's best response will just be to take back with the c-pawn, and thereby accept a isolated d-pawn. So e6, yeah, black could play more actively with bishop g4, but e6 is solid. It just has the bishop defend c5 as well, prepares bishop e7. Um, Trying to remember my theory now. I could just play bishop e2 and get ready to castle. Sometimes you go knight a3 and you try to bring the knight into b5 or c4. I might do that, though, because that's pretty interesting as well. Let's play that way. Let's just see how he reacts. Because if he plays a6, trying to stop knight b5, then a common reaction would be knight c4. Okay, and he voluntarily pulls back the queen. Maybe trying to prove that my knight is not, in fact, very well placed out here. Hmm. Just defends the c7 square, too. Okay, I'll play bishop e2. Pretty standard developing move. Probably he'll play knight c6. He actually takes. Interesting. Okay, we'll take. So the thing is, if he takes on a3, I don't have to take back with my pawn. I can throw in queen a4 check and then take with the queen. And that might stop him from castling as well. So I'm not sure he should have taken on d4 so quickly. He might have had something else. Let's check Doroska's stats. Oh, he just moved, but we'll check his stats anyways. Um, peak 15 minute rating of 2243. And uh, about 800 some games played. Bishop d7, this is probably preparing knight c6. And maybe now taking on a3 is a better idea. I can play knight c4. Knight c4 is pretty active. I think I might want to do that. Yeah, that's probably better than knight c2. So let's play this one. Again, I'm expecting knight c6, but maybe knight b5 at that point, trying to focus in on this weak d6 square. So it's possible he'll want to play bishop e7 right now so as uh, not to allow knight b5 in reply. Hmm. So if bishop e7, I can maybe play knight e5, but I can also just castle. All right, so he's going to allow knight b5 if I want to go down that road. I don't see why not. I mean, I might get the bishop pair out of this, out of this transaction. So let's do it. I think his move orders already are imprecise. I mean, queen d8 seemed okay on move six. Taking on d4 in my eyes was premature. Um, bishop d7. Oh, he resigned. Hmm. Well, that's annoying that he resigned. Um, I'm still, I don't know if I'll post this or not. <laughs> I'll make up my mind, but uh, yeah, quick victory. Not really much to be said. It wasn't much of a game. Let's just check what the engine says. Wow, I'm already plus 1.27, 1.3. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at his move order. So C3 Sicilian, and he responded with D5. Well, even though this game was short, at least I can give an overview um, right now. So there's two main moves, like I said, and the big expert in the C3 Sicilian has been uh, Yevgeny Sveshnikov, Russian Grandmaster, also the namesake of the Sveshnikov variation. And he wrote in his book, which is like the Bible on the C3 Sicilian, it's this big yellow book. Um, and he says the same thing, that d5 and knight f6 are the only good moves. So... If knight f6, it's kind of like an Alakine's defense in that white's pawn is lured forward. Black usually plays knight d5 thereafter. Um, and then d4, take. Here white can play knight f3 or they can take back right away. Um, this line is fine for black, but both sides have to know theory. Uh, d5 is kind of looking to get into an improved Scandinavian, if you will. Because after takes and then queen takes, it's just like a Scandinavian except the moves c3, c5 have been inserted. Um, in this case, that benefits black because white can't play knight c3 so easily and harass the queen. So I played d4, he played knight f6, I went knight f3. 
e6. Yeah, and if black wants, they can try to develop the bishop more aggressively to g4, but e6 is solid. I played knight a3. So yeah, the idea of this is to come into either b5 or c4. If you were to play a6, trying to stop knight b5, then knight c4 becomes an attractive square, threatening knight b6. So he withdrew the queen to d8. I played bishop e2. He took. I took it the knight. Hmm. So e5 is apparently a decent move now. I didn't look at that too closely. I thought I might just play this move. Ah, but then I have problems with my knight. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm running out of squares. My knight gets trapped. Check. Take, take. Nowhere to go. I have to play f4 and heavily speculate. Wow, okay. So maybe e5 was a decent move for him. I'm sure I would have looked at uh, knight db5 a6 had he played e5, but at the time I didn't really consider this to be a dangerous move. This should be 5 check. check. Knight bd7, knight f5. Ah, this seems like a decent way to play too. Maybe not one that's hugely troubling to black though. So he just took... I took with the knight. The computer thinks that queen takes is better. Hmm. And then if queen takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop takes a3, I can take with a pawn. And I have the two bishops. My structure is a little shattered. Yeah, I don't know if this is that much better for white. I think black should be fine here, despite the two bishops. The computer thinks I'm I'm somewhat for choice. Well, I think he just played too quickly. I mean, he took on d4. Maybe that wasn't um, a terrible move, but it seemed a little ill-conceived. And then not really paying attention to knight b5 was a big issue for him. It might be worth it for him to either even play a6, but I thought bishop b7. That way knight b5 is not possible. And I could come in here, but at least like this way he gets to castle if he wants. This is a much better fate than what befell him in the game. So I don't know if the position is resignable. It's, I'm sure it's not yet, but um, let's say bishop e7, and I give a check here. Check. Um, I could win this b7 pawn, I suppose. There's not really a good way for him to defend that either. I mean, if like rook b8, I can play bishop f4 even before playing knight e6. So he is a lot worse, but I don't think it's quite resignable yet. Um, all right, I'm going to play another game, and I'll still post this one. So uh, you guys are getting a double dose of standard today. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you again soon.